Welcome to the old city of Jaffa. You can hear in the background the Muslims calling us to pray. But I want you to see the magical atmosphere of Jaffa at uh, night time. This is, this is totally different than Tel Aviv, although Jaffa belongs to Tel Aviv now. Then I will turn right. There's a lot of history at uh, Jaffa and from the aerial point of view, look like that. We are a doll city, that's Tel Aviv and Jaffa, but you can see here the beginning of and the beginning of and the end of Israel. If you're not taking the West Bank as part of it, that's Jaffa Port, Jaffa, Tel Aviv, and that's the West Bank. small, isn't it? I'm sure that you didn't think about uh, Israel as uh, such a small place. Then we will enter now to one of the alleys. Dol City is not big. You can actually walk through the alleys for one hour, two hours. There are so many coffee places, so many galleries. Um, I'm taking you to the less touristic part of it and lately you can see a lot of exhibitions at uh, the street of the old city. We're talking about Jaffa as oh look at Mr. Bibi Netanyahu, late Prime Minister. The old city of Jaffa is more than uh, four thousand years ago. Look at that man and the cat next to him. He's taking a selfie with the cat. אוטומט, And I don't know that man, but in Israel, it's so, it's so easy to talk with, uh, with the Israelis. They're full of uh, cats in Israel, but they're full of cats here as well, and they look beautiful because people are feeding them. Until years ago, a few years ago, two nuns used to do that at 4 a.m. and 4 p.m. Uh, but they moved to Jerusalem now. This is a wonderful theater of 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 Broadway. Uh, some of them are in English as well. Then you can enjoy visiting Asimta Theater, the alley theater. You can find it uh, every site of uh, Jaffa. Uh, when the tourists been here, then it was more crowded and, and, and more beautiful, I must say, because it's a little bit quiet. And uh, that is a wonderful um, house and museum of... I don't know if you can see something from there. I cannot see it, but she is an amazing sculptor. Her name is Ilana Gore. And... I love, oh, it's even open a little bit. I love that museum. Then Ilana Gore. Uh, don't miss that place. 
um, beside the beautiful art. It's, it's, it's a huge mansion and uh, she collects a lot of art and you can see it and uh, um, she she's she's she creates a lot of art as well and then it's a beautiful eclectic art that's Ilana Kaur and the balcony there oh, is absolutely lovely Look how beautiful it is. Let me take you up to the square. Every Thursday, they have a uh, lot of um, rock bands, uh, I think for free. And let's see. Who's now? Um, who's going to be today? They're gonna, they, it's going to start in about two hours, then it's too early to see it, but it's going to be crazy here. Later on, I will take you to the flea market. Flea market at night time. It's something that you cannot miss. It's not flea market, it's food market. Amazing. The church that you will see in front of you is um, St. Peter Church and Monastery, Catholic, uh, all about St. Peter in Jaffa, the Book of Acts. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> okay. It's going to be here. And the funny thing is that beneath it is the museum. You can't take photos right now. Why not? It, so it's still a public area. Then look at the fountain here, a lot of, with the 12 zodiacs. I cannot take a video here. Public area. They will tell me what to do. Actually, if it's a private um, show, then I can understand. But this is a public area, and the show will begin in about two hours from now. Then, the angel who brought a sack full of non kosher animals. Remember that book, that uh, story? And then uh, Cornelius. The way to um, Caesarea, then this is the house of Simon the Tenor. From Jaffa, the message was I look a beautiful picture to take. Wow. The West, uh, message was um, you can convert non Jews into the new Judaism that we know it now as Christianity. And the house of Simon the Tender was there. And the monastery is to the right of it. Napoleon, when he'd been here, he lived in one of the rooms here, 1799. Oh, look at the full moon. Where is the full moon? Yeah, it's not a lamp. Here it is. You want to see more of the alleys? Alright, I will take you, but not before we 
we will actually look at the view of Tel Aviv. This is an Ottoman cannon. Let me see if you can see something from here. Yeah, I can see a little bit. This is Tel Aviv city. That's where I live. Amazing. And the black thing is the Mediterranean Sea. Give you permission to continue with a beautiful Alice of Jaffa. All right. We had the Mazin now, you had the bells. Such a beautiful place. Private houses with a view to the Mediterranean Sea. I'm a little bit jealous, a little bit. The breeze is amazing. We are in the middle of October. Wonderful breeze. The Vatican Embassy is right here in Jaffa. Why here? Because Saint Peter, according to the Catholic, is the first Pope. Then it's obvious that it will be here. Beautiful. The Alice are narrow. They are narrow because it's usually hot here. Then walls equal to shade and um, and, and breeze. Now it's breezy here, it's beautiful. As you can see, there are not a lot of people in those alleys, but because it's for you, I don't mind. The stones are made of sand stones. It's kukar in Hebrew and Arabic. It's, you cannot decorate it a lot, the houses with coca sandstone, but it's, um, it's excellent to use. Greek Orthodox Monastery, St. Michael, with an amazing church, an amazing view from the balcony. from the 17th century and why there are so many churches here first of all it's Jaffa very important place in the city remember St. Peter was here he cured Tabitha and Simon the Tanner house was here then it's a biblical city for the Christians secondly it's the main port of Israel and the closest one to Jaffa, uh, Jerusalem. Then, in that case, in that case, it's a win win situation. Why not to um, open churches at Jaffa? biblical stories and think about what's happened to those poor people three weeks or four weeks in the um, uh, sea. The first thing that they want to do when they reach the port is to say thanks God we survived. Then it's a lot of win-win situation and if you notice we climb up and down it's a small hill the rest is flat Tel Aviv is a flat, Tel Aviv is a flat city. And Jaffa is not. And the reason for it is very simple. 
Jaffa is one of the most important cities for everyone who wanted to conquer the world. Israel is a bridge between Africa, Asia, and Europe. Then if you wanted to conquer the world, you had to start from Israel. And Jaffa port was one of the most important places. Then in that case, without it, you want to conquer Israel. Then so many did it, and by doing it, they destroyed the old evidence and built on top of it something new. Then someone else destroyed that evidence, built something new on top of it. Then it became to be like a small hill. The rest were agriculture area, like Tel Aviv. Tel Aviv was agriculture area as well. Look how beautiful it is. Do you want to reach the port of Tel Aviv? Yes, let's do that. It's a small port. Um, the big boat couldn't reach um, Jaffa. The port wasn't good for them. Then um, they used to dock inside there, um, far away from the port, and small boats used to take them to to the land. Here it is. Today it's like a small marina, but in Tel Aviv there is a wonderful place and less problematic than that. And that's because there are so many rocks here. And it's not easy to reach that place. Uh, it used to be a very beautiful place for food, but now it's less. I'm taking you, I'm taking you to the flea market. In the flea market you will find a lot of good places for food. Excellent restaurants, excellent pubs, much nicer than here. Then, until we will reach the port, uh, the flea market, let me tell you that if it's the first video of me that you are watching, then I do have more than 19,000 videos. I will be more than happy if you will subscribe my channel. Um, another important thing is that at the description of uh, the videos, you will uh, find my Instagram and Facebook account. Don't use the Israeli one because it's uh, in Hebrew. Use the uh, uh, business one, the English one. And you can ask me whatever you want through YouTube, through WhatsApp, through Facebook. I'm still saying Facebook because the rumors say that it will be named differently soon. Then I don't know what will happen with it. And before you will ask me, just two hours ago, uh, Israel declared that from November 1st, tourists that took the vaccination will be able to enter Israel. Then look for more information on my Facebook account. I just, uh, uh, it's there for you. Look how beautiful, look how beautiful it is there. It's Tel Aviv and I will reach closer to, to the wall there. Then you will be able to see it better. And soon I want you to see uh, one of my favorite um, monastery, the Armenian one. And it's important for you because something very important happened there. Coffee places and silver cafe next to the sea, but it's nothing compared to to the flea market. But if you want to watch the view of the sea, then this is this is the place. Ah, oh, the smell of coffee. I'm a coffeeholic.
look at Tel Aviv. And the sound is of the Mediterranean Sea. A lot of skyscrapers. Tel Aviv, it's a modern city worth visiting. If you like to enjoy um, 21st century, then this is Tel Aviv. People are amazing, the food is amazing. And uh, there's so many things to see there, not so biblically, except of Jaffa. But uh, besides the Bible, there's a lot more to see in Tel Aviv. And I'm not only talking about going to the sea. Uh, Tel Aviv's got 10 kilometers of the sea. And that is the um, Armenian monastery. Mr. Napoleon was here, he turned that monastery into an hospital. When he conquered Jaffa, he forgot to bury the uh, Ottoman soldiers that he killed, around 4,000 people. Then he, I mean, a lot of uh, his soldiers got a disease. Then he came to visit them here to show them that they won't die. But he left them here when he ran away. To Alexandria when he went back he didn't conquer it he wanted to conquer the world he didn't as you know then one of the pictures painting sorry that you can see to the left of Mona Lisa and the Louvre is about Mr. Napoleon touching one of the sick soldiers uh, he left them here the Ottomans actually um, Helped them. They didn't kill the soldiers and they actually brought the soldiers after they cured them, the one that they could, back to Egypt to to the uh, to Napoleon. And that's the good side of the Ottomans. The bad side is that they murdered, butchered more than 1.5 million of the Armenians. And this is an Armenian monastery. And I don't know if you can see, there's a f um, flower on the balcony that reminds the Armenian of that Holocaust, genocide. And we saw some churches and what about a, um, a mosque. Here it is. In front of you it's called the Sea Mosque. And when the... When the... Muslim soldiers, soldiers, sailors, the rich um, Java, they went to pray there to say, thanks Allah, we've been saved. Full moon, lovely Thursday night. It's actually Thursday evening, but Thursday evening and night is the beginning of the weekend in, in Israel. Sunday, it's a regular day in Israel there. Uh, in Israeli, the Jews are following their Bible and God created the world in seven days and the seven days said we are now striking Shabbat, Sabbath then the first day of the wicked Sunday Yom Rishon according, it's like a counting Rishon she needs one, two, three Yom Shishi, Friday the sixth day, this is the meaning of it, and Shabbat, it's not the seventh day, it's according to the Bible, Sabbath, Lishbot, to strike. Then, in last, I will um, stay with me if you want to see the flea market. Um, it's such a beautiful day. I jumped to the entrance of Jaffa and we are not so far away from the flea market but look at the clock tower. I'm not going to talk about the clock tower and the history of it because it's a long story but I do have some videos about it in my channel. And we are heading to the flea market. On the way I want you to meet, um, oh you know what, I know what I'm going to do. Let me see, I can cross it. It doesn't look like it, but that was one of um, 
uh, not, one, not one, the first shopping mall of Tel Aviv, cover shopping mall, uh, built in the 19th century by the Greek Orthodox. Let me see if I can crush it. All right, I can. You can see the Tafos, the sign of the uh, Holy Land Keepers by the Greek Orthodox on top of the door. And I'm taking you to the non. To the, it's not no important. It is important, but it's the non-touristic part of the flea market. It's still early. Um, could be here, let's say, in two hours. In about two hours, then everything will be crowded with beautiful music. But you can understand how beautiful it is already. Good music, good vibes, lots of alcohol. Look how, look how beautiful it is. Part of Ramses. This is the light Ramses part, and the other part is the other side. Don't want to disturb them, but look how beautiful it is. You can see here. You see the iron roof? That was the cover. The original cover of the market. You can see it here too. I'm talking about that. And that. Oh, sorry. Lots of non graffiti because the difference between graffiti and that is that, that they got the permit to do that. A wonderful chef restaurant, Ramses. Next time I'll try to be at 9 p.m. 2100. Then uh, we will be able to. You will be able to see how fun it is. Uh, meanwhile, I can tell you that there is another video of the flea market that I took, I think, a week ago, and that was at daytime. Then it looks different. It looks beautiful. Not less beautiful than that. Then you can imagine how beautiful it's going to be soon. Just to walk through those alleys is to enjoy life. Some of you ask me, Tahi, I know that you are not working. How should you, we support you? Uh, at the beginning, I say no because I felt like, it, I don't know, I don't, didn't feel well with it. My ego didn't let me do that. But I'm not working from February 2020, almost two, uh, two years from now. Then, if you want to help, only if you want, then it's a wedding hall. Beautiful one. Then you can go to the link that you can find at the description of, the, of that video. It's called Buy Me a Coffee. And then support if you want, if you can. This is a place that I really like. It's called Shafa. Shafa, which is uh, beautiful in Arabic. And the atmosphere is nice. And the food is even better. But it's still empty, which is a little bit sad, isn't it? I wish that you could see the happiness of Tel Aviv. But I think you can imagine now how beautiful it can be. Let me show you a little bit more of it. There are a few more places to know. Mm. Yeah, that's the other part of Shafa. Let me take you there as well. That's my favorite part.
beautiful people. <coughs> they have uh, in every place they can find an uh, English menu. Although now there's not a lot of tourists. Beautiful here. Guznik pub and uh, Farouk in the market. Lovely food. And you can hear the lovely music. Knafe, baklava, Arabic sweets, desserts. But let me take you to some place that I really love. But because I'm a little bit old, I'm, I'm not 20, um, you will find her. Uh, people look more like me, although I love those places as well. It's called Pua, and the beautiful thing with Pua is that the food is amazing, but the rest is from the flea market, and every table is different, every chair is different, every plate is different. Duckling now. The flea market. Now we, to, we will turn right now. As you can see to the left, there's more places. I don't know all of them. That's Pua. And next to it is Rasia. Raisa. Rasia. Excellent place as well. But the atmosphere of Pua is better. The food here is great. That. Now you saw a little bit of the flea market at night time, which is totally different from the daytime if you watch the uh, video that I, I took. And I would be more than happy to answer every question that you want to ask. And um, if you want me, and there are 19,000 videos of Israel. And uh, I'm sure that one of the videos that you want me to see is there as well. Then, but if you do want me to do something for you, special video and I can and will be more than happy to do that in front of you it's an Italian restaurant and I must say sadly Italians we have we, we have a better Italian food in Israel than in Italy and I'm mad about the Italian but sorry we are better than you in food Italian food don't be mad at me but we are right Golda in front of you it's a gelato place, very good one, but I already ate nice gelato then. It's enough for me. We'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.